Hello, this is Melissa Cole, curator of the Oshawa Museum. Thank you for joining me today for this month's podcast. With Christmas around the corner, I'll be talking about one of my favorite traditions, which is decorating the Christmas tree and how this tradition started. For many people, decorating the Christmas tree with ornaments is one of the most enjoyable ways to spend time with family and capture the magic and excitement of the holiday season. The earliest known Christmas ornaments were apples. The apples represented the temptation of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Later added to the tree were cherries in honor of the Virgin Mary. It wasn't till 1605 in Germany that there was a detailed description of a 17th century Christmas tree. According to the description, the ornaments would be roses made out of colored paper, apples, wafers, and decorations made of shiny bits of gold foil or sugar. A wide variety of ornaments made from food dangled from these early German Christmas trees, such as cookies in the shape of hearts, angels, bells, and stars. Ornaments would be made from eggshells that were transformed into baskets that would be filled with candy. In fact, the traditional German Christmas tree was covered in so many good things to eat that it was nicknamed a sugar tree. Decorated Christmas trees did not become widely popular popular until people saw the ornaments brought to America by families emigrating from Germany in the 1840s. Ornaments became a big hit at F.W. Woolworth, a five-and-dime fame, had had reluctantly stocked his stores with German-made ornaments in 1880 that were made of hand-cast lead and hand-blown glass ornaments. Through time, these ornaments became more elaborate and expensive. Prior to the invention of electricity, candles were placed on the tree. Decorating trees with candles also started in Europe and spread to North America in the 1800s. Candles were placed in candle clip holders that would clip onto the tree. This patent shows an early Christmas tree candle clip holder with a wax catcher. Having an open flame by a tree comes with its own inherent problems. A bucket of water would often be kept close to the tree in case any flames had to be doused. These tree candles are part of the Oshawa Museum's collection. They are small and would have been placed in a holder that resembles this patent. Christmas tree candles never really disappeared, but they gradually slipped under the radar as electric tree lights, which swept the markets in the 1920s and 30s. Since then, we've become a nation of Clark Griswolds over illuminating our trees and homes. The first Christmas trees in Ontario were decorated with edible products such as strings of popcorn, nuts, and cookies. And during the 1870s, the first store-bought ornaments were introduced. They were made of tin, wax, tinsel, cardboard, and glass. The oldest manufactured ornaments made of tin came in various shapes and sizes such as stars, crosses, and flowers. Wax ornaments soon followed, the most popular design being an angel floating in the air. Icicles were introduced in 1878, and they still remain remain a popular decoration today. What ornaments adorn your Christmas tree? Happy Holidays from the staff at the Oshawa Community Museum.